Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is 2009 Andy Dam here. And where we left off, we beat our previous mission in the terrorist camp, and now we're doing Operation Off Certification. Thanks for, thanks to our success with the United Nations, Adamus has secured a high-profile defense contract with Brazil. We now, we are now in position to become the dominant player in the South American market and one of the top PMCs in the world. So let's cut on. Only fighters. Cool. You know what that means. Six years later. Avenue Suite. I wonder if... You see that address on the top there? The 54th Avenue Suite 101 New York? I don't know... I don't know what address that is. I, I hope it's not any important address. But... <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, 21 of December 2020. Dear David, it's hard to believe that it's been six years since you accepted my offer of employment and joined the, this company as a member of our first combat air wing. Adamus Global Security has faced consider, considerable challenges since then, but thanks to our dedication, professionalism, and courage, we achieved such truly stunning su success. I'm extremely pleased to announce that our company has just signed an unprecedented long-term defense contract with the government of Brazil. This contract has the potential to make Adamus the dominant private military corporation in the world, and I'm counting on you to help make that a rea reality. We are about to embark on a bold new phase of growth for the company, and, we're, and you're going to play a crucial role in the process. Your loyalty to the company has been unnoticed, David. We're on the verge of something big here, and you're going to share in the profits, just sincerely. Adrian, the winter CEO of Adamus Global Security. Oh boy, that's nice. Let's see what you got to say to us. Your squadron is being deployed to Brazil to reinforce our client's defense network. CEO and board of directors have high expectations for the company. We expect you to meet them. That means taking more risks and flying more aggressively, which is why we expect all Artemis pilots to make use of our new off enhanced flight system. The system will allow you to push your plane to the absolute limit, giving you an unbeatable edge against your opponents. As soon as you've been approved by your flight instructor, you'll be packing for Rio de Janeiro. All right. Speaking of real edition, the Olympics are coming by in, in a couple. I think next week or two weeks from now. Interesting. <laughs> so, so in 2025, we're just driving around. No, 2020, we're driving in the double tap or switch assistance. I don't know. What? what are you talking about? What assistance? Oh, uh, anyways, yeah, the the Rio Olympics is uh, coming up. Your plan was stall. Well, stalling's not that bad. Do we need assistance? I don't know. Huh, weird. Good morning, Captain. I'm Major Talbot. I'll be your flight instructor today. I'm also your passenger here in the back seat, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't crash the plane during the course of today's lesson. Today, we're going to push this aircraft to the limits. Artemis Global Security is in the business of defeating enemy armies anytime, anywhere. To do that, we've got to fly harder and better than any other pilots in the world. This aggressiveness is what's going to make Artemis a leader in the PMC industry. Modern warplanes have computer-assisted maneuvering systems designed to prevent a dangerous loss of control. These alpha limiters keep the bird in the air, but they also prevent the pilot from performing radical maneuvers that can give him the upper hand in the dogfight. Today, we are going to deactivate the limiter and familiarize you with the assistance off maneuver. Okay. I guess that's cool. But before we can disengage the alpha limiter, we need to gain some altitude. I don't want you stalling out close to the deck and turning us into barbecue. Pull into a climb and grab some sky. When we reach safe altitude, we'll go over disengaging the limiter. Alright. Uh, well, it's gonna take a All while. Alright, let's get started. The first thing I want to go over is how to turn the alpha limiter off and on again. During missions, you'll have the option of switching the system off when you need 
need a momentary edge in combat. Then switching it on. What we call it off mode. Catchy, huh? Turn it off your limiter and let's get to work. Oh, where the hell am I? Assistance. Very off. nice. Try cycling the limiter off and on a few times. Assistance. You do got it, son. That's so okay, weird. Turn your limiter off, Crenshaw. We've got work to do. Okay, so far so good. You've learned how to turn the limiter on and off. Now let's try a little piloting off. This I'm going is to so weird. The limiter switch for this next exercise. For the time being, you're stuck in off mode. All right, ready to try something potentially fatal? We're going to explore the perils of flying in off mode. When your plane drops below a certain speed, it will lose aerodynamic lift. Know what happens then? You go into a stall. The yeah. plane becomes unresponsive, and falls like a rock. Got that? Good. Now I want you to slow the plane down and put it into a stall. Then you'll recover from the stall before we hit the ground. Stall. Full throttle. Now roll the plane over and pull back on the stick. Okay. Oh yeah, you that's, it, that's pretty basic. Okay, Crenshaw, you've managed to stall the plane without getting us killed, which is a good thing in my book. Now you need to familiarize yourself killing others while in off mode. There are drones in the air up ahead. Engage and destroy them in off mode. These drones are stationary, so you shouldn't have any problems taking them out. Yeah, it was so weird. I don't know why would I even have it like this for. It's third person view. Okay, that's a kill. Good shot. How would I even know where to aim? It's just, I don't know, it's so weird. View of this, but I mean, at the same time, I don't know how to, how to maneuver very well. That's a kill. You're pretty good at this. Looking good, Crenshaw. Keep going. Okay. Let's see if we could, uh. There we go. Hope the drone, drone likes missiles. Okay, one drone left. Take it out. Okay, let me see if I can try to hit it with bullets. I think I can. I think I saw the little uh, HUD to aim, aim it for me, so we'll, we'll see. Just gotta get close to this thing. Oh, damn. Uh, okay. You're getting the hang of it now. Ah, damn it. Give me a sec. I'm trying to see if I can hit him with the bullets. No, I can't. Oh, man. Yeah, I know the mist. Just trying to see if I can hit him with bullets. You're doing great, Crenshaw. Keep it up. There you go. Not bad, Crenshaw. Now we're gonna launch some combat UKs. Don't worry, they're not armed, so they won't be shooting at us. These drones are highly maneuverable. You'll have to push the plane to its limits in order to get a shot at them. Using the side slip maneuver at the right time during a turning dog fight will put the drones right in your sights. Let's see you do it. Okay. Turn around. Now he's still on my ass. Good hit. That's a kill. Okay. Oh, I get it now. I, I know what it wants me to do now. No, I don't want it to stall though. Stall. Oh, it stalled. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna stall like this, sir? 
Captain, I don't think we can do this. <laughs> yeah, I'll get the hang of it until we hit the ocean. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, drift. Oh, oh, we're good. We're good. Good. I'm just trying to hit that drone. It's just so bad right now. Great, Keep it up. You know, you never imagine a driver just, uh, you know, being out of like their person view, you know? Okay. Come on, come on. No, no lock on. Oh, uh, no. Yep. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Here you go. You're kidding me, right? Yeah, boy, I already know how to dodge missiles already. I don't even need flares. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Uh, I'm fine. I got it. I just tried to see if I could dress hit him. Watch your speed. If you slow down too much, you'll go into a stall. Which is fine. I got him. Warning. Missile evaded. Oh, how did he? Okay. There you go. They got you. Nope. Warning. That's another drone taking okay, out. Okay, that's one. Nice one. Maneuver! Maneuver! Oh yeah, buddy! Alright. Drift! Yeah, buddy. Alright. Okay. Get that last run if I can find him. Stay focused, you're doing great. Warning. He's on my ass. Oh no. It's gonna hit me. It's gonna hit me. No, 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 never mind. Damn it, I can't get a hit on him. Oh. Damn. Come on. I got you. Oh, you're dead now, son. That's one last bandit to worry about. Alright, cool. Oh, man, this off mode is. Not bad, really Red bad. John, not bad at all. At this point, I'm ready to sign off on your pilot certification and send you back to your squad. Let's get this bird back on the ground. I've got four more guys just like you waiting for their own brush with death. <laughs> We're gonna crash, Captain. <laughs> All certification. All right, mission successful. That is so confusing, guys. I don't know how to do that. As I check the, you know, the pilots and is in the plane. It's not outside, you know. Like, oh, observing. Leveled up. Cool. All right, AV dash eighty eight unlocked. Gla Operation Glass Hammer. All right, over the 24 hours, the conflict between Brazil and Las Trinidad has escalated sharply. The war seems certain. Las Trinidad, Trinidad's PMC forces have gone on full alert, and an attack could come at any time. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to leave that next time. Uh, so hopefully next time we're going to go and head to Rio de Janeiro. We're going to find out what's going on with these guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's play, and I'll see you guys next time.